Hello everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I have another devotional for you. This devotional is entitled Learning from Failure. And I'll be reading from my Bible, Luke chapter 22, verses 54 through 62. Having arrested him, they led him and brought him into the high priest's house. But Peter followed at a distance. Now when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them, and a certain servant girl, seeing him as he sat by the fire, looked intently at him and said this man was also with him but he denied him saying woman I do not know, I do not know him and after a little while another saw him and said you also are of them but Peter said man I am not then then after about an hour had passed Another confidently affirmed, saying, Surely this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are saying. Immediately, while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he said, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So Peter went out and wept bitterly. Hmm. All right, that's the Bible reading. Now the devotional. Peter was a man of great faith and bold action, but his brash style sometimes led him to make humiliating mistakes. More than once, he probably felt like a failure rather than a faithful disciple. I'm sure we can all relate when it comes to falling short of our own expectations. Learning to obey God is a process and failure is a part of our de development as humble servants. When we yield to temptation or rebel against God's authority, we soon realize that sin has few rewards. We'd all prefer to grow in our faith without any missteps at all, but we can't deny that our failures are in instructive. They teach us humility, which is an essential character trait for those who follow Jesus. To eliminate pride, it's important to admit that we can't do life on our own. We need a God whose ways and purposes are higher than ours. The Lord doesn't reward rebellion or wrongdoing, but he blesses those who repent and embrace chastisement as a tool for growth. So make it your goal to be a pliable student in the Lord's hands and thank Him for using your failures to benefit you while bringing Him glory. Ooh, amen. Alright, that's it for the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you got something from it. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. And goodbye.